Hello everyone, Eric here. Today I thought I'd uh, try a live stream for the first time, and I'm not being asked to join in, whether that's the virtual nine ball tournament at bang time school of coaching, or I've also been invited to a few interviews from the practice room with Dana and Josh, so thanks very much. So today's video is just again first live, showing what I do with mental or physical preparation before I start playing pool. And uh, what better way to start by undressing the table itself. So again, hit me up in the chat here. You know what you got to say. And I'll probably end up maybe finishing with a couple of games of nine balls. Well. So a uh, shout out to... Uh, Group 760 for asking me to do this, or not forcing me, but out of my comfort zone, I suppose. Rather than recording, I'm doing a live. Well, sometimes what I do is I grab this motor sex one and I'll wipe the table down. Uh, depending on if I didn't do it the night before or the last time. Like today is not too bad, so I'm not going to bother with that. Hey guys, nice to see you. Joe, I really like the, uh, the daughter in the video. That's great. Can you guys hear me okay? I, again, I, it's the first time I hit start live and see what happens. All right, so now the table's undressed. I like to use the uh, Willard Dime Shaper. Um, well, you can check my tip. I like it a nice uh, time shape. It looks all right right now, but again, I always test it out. Again, preparation. It's nice to get that leather roughed up with it. Chalk holds to it. You guys all know that. Hey, Josh. All right. So it wasn't that bad at all. It's pretty good. If I do a thorough one, I usually stand on it. Put the tip to the floor and then I'll spin it that way. It usually gives a nice crown to it. Um, I'm using the uh, the Roku six chalk. I used to use the Kamui nine eight. It was really good. Um, probably one of my favorite chalks. However, it was really making the balls quite dirty, so I switched it up. This stuff here, I'm finding it doesn't need the impact marks as well, or as much, or at all rather. So I do recommend it. It's it's about 35, 40 bucks Canadian, maybe 30 American or so, but my opinion is worth it. Okay, so another thing I like to do again, preparing myself even for a warm-up, is I'll just put the ball down on the table and always give myself an easy shot just to kind of start the session off right. I know a lot of people will come down, they'll throw the ball there, they'll throw the key ball, they'll want to play whoever live. I like to set myself an easy shot, yeah, and get it running nicely. And then eventually I'll get into the nine ball and stuff a little bit later, but for now I haven't touched the two in about three days myself, so we'll see how that works. And my daughters have found me, I wasn't hiding, but... Yes, the big camera's up there. See it? So again, I just, you know, almost similar to the RDS challenge, ball in hand almost if you need it. Just get that confidence up, get the stroke. Well, I haven't touched the key in three days since the Christmas holidays and also. Um, another thing I like to do, I'll, I'll give it to you in a bit, is you can get a, just a regular piece of paper, maybe not by 11 sheet of paper, cut out, 
uh, the middle of it here. If you pull up in a bit, or just use a magic rack, and then almost use a drill for your key wall control. Again, I'll touch on that a little bit. Three, two, How's everyone doing tonight? Is everyone okay? Downstairs. Is anyone else using the Roku chalk at all? I got the mitten, Josh. Yeah, that's a good one for you. Yeah, Chuck, uh, I got the one down. I think the other one's napping right now with the wife, but uh, I'm sure she'll, she'll run around between the lights and such. It's pretty crazy. Alright, have you ever touched this? <laughs> yes, um, depending on where I am on the table, not so much on this side here, because you, uh, there's enough space for the two to sit, but if I'm over here, yeah, I'll be in a backstroke there, and I've had kids running around me, and I usually pause before, but then, um, I think one kid went off over here, and the other one stopped, and I didn't hear her stop, because I was in the backstroke, they pulled the cue and knocked her in the head a little bit, but she's still running around, so we're, we're good. And what I should be really working on today is my, my bank sh uh, shots. I'm not a I'm not a big bank shot pool player. Um, I've seen so many videos. I understand it. I just I'm not a confident confident stoker. That really. Can't take the makeup. Over one. You want? Yeah, don't do that to me. Yeah. Yeah, what do you do, Chuck? You know, they're always around you. It's a good distraction, too. I got a buddy that comes by, and he thinks I play pool better when they're running around me or through my legs. But I, uh, you just want to focus. This is the only time you're going to get down here and they're going to be running around and you have to get down to it. But if I'm at a pool hall or, or something and I got someone that's walking in front of me, a waitress or whatever with a drink, I just stop, stand up, reset. But kids yelling and screaming and running doesn't seem to bug me very much. Okay, so what I was talking about earlier. If you haven't done it, you can give it a go. This is from the builduniversity.org website. Um, you can literally just get your own paper, leave an inch, cut a hole out. Great position uh, for your cue control. Uh, you can put it on the table or anywhere, or anywhere you want, and then just uh, stick to the same shot. And again, this is from the exam itself, but if you are working, it's good. Again, put a bowl anywhere you want. The object here is I'm going to try to just keep the cue ball. In here, and I say it again, I haven't touched the queue in three days, so. Anyway, this is, I do recommend this. If you don't have a paper, you want to print it, just use a magic rack queue. It doesn't really matter. You can put the next shot for there, for example. So obviously, close, but not good enough. Um, also, if you have those little uh, reinforcement stickers and circle ones, they're good too. Make sure you're doing the exact same shot over and over. Ah, oh, was close. What do you do? That's what I like to do. Again, that's just before warm up. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to see a thing of nine ball now? Yeah, that's awesome, Chuck. Six kids. Hopefully, you guys have yourself a great Christmas, Chuck. Thanks, uh, thanks, Josh. Thanks, guys. Can I try something else? I'm not that good, so you know, don't ask for ridiculous things. But I can uh, try anything in nine ball. I don't want to give too many tips away. I don't want uh, Darren to be watching this and learning from me. 
I'm playing Darren at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday for again from Jim's channel. Thanks, that cool. Thanks again for him to host that. That's awesome. Awesome group of guys there, too. It's all the community we have. Now you guys can't see this, but I'll uh, I'll take a picture and maybe I'll upload it later. What I've done, just to make sure my magic rack is completely square, I have made little marks um, where the ball's with position on it. That way I know for sure it's square. Do I? It's up to you. It's your own table. I, I did it because I want to make sure it's it's correct, but it does. Uh, I guess it kind of looks ugly when you take it off. You're seeing uh, some marks in the table, but. So again, it is what it is. Really? Want to say hi? Hi. Are you too shy? Did you say hi? I can see. I can see. They can see. you. Thanks, Sarah. Just say hi. What's your name? Um, Daddy, I can't see. I know, it's tricky. It's tricky. Oh, Josh, that's a lot. Just say hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Emily. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go over there, okay? I'm going to try to break, okay? All right, first break in uh, three days. See how it works out. Two ball and two ball. Did anyone get anything really good for Christmas they want to share in the chat? This isn't going to be a long stream. I just, again, wanted to kind of show what I personally do with, you know, dressing the table and, and just warming up, stuff like that. Normally I'd warm up a lot longer, but yeah, this is my, my first live, but I give it a really quick go and then, uh, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, anyone get anything they like for Christmas this year? I know Jim didn't get 10 inches of snow that we have here, but at least the kids have a nice little mix of logging in the hill now. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. That's, that's another camera. Yeah? That's I got a jump key. That's awesome. Don't break. Uh, by what uh, company? Company, Darren. Have you have you tried it? Do you like it? The X5 by Poison here. Again, pink because my daughter bought it, and I know the salesman was happy to get rid of it. But uh, it's a it's a three piece as well, Darren. So. Okay, right on. Good point. But I don't use it to jump. I'm not a very good jumper with it at all, so I just use the, uh, the Predator. Predator jump kit. Um, I would like to ask little Chris uh, if he was here, but um, with this jump cue, I believe he's got a Predator as well. I never jump full cue. Can't, can't figure it out. I always take the back part off. I noticed he was doing that as well, so I'm just wondering if he's similar in that, in that sense. Okay, where are you? You cool with it okay? Uh -huh. I'm alive. Hey, you okay? Hey, why are you doing that, right? I'm gonna go with it, with it. Look at that. Success. 
It wasn't an eight foot jump with those crystals. That was a great shot. I'd like to thank everyone for stopping in. I really appreciate it, guys. Again, something different. Oh my god, here. Oh, sorry to hear that, Josh. Uh, okay, hey Dana, thanks for popping in quick. Alright, you guys, three ball combo. Again, this is just, uh, just for fun. Try my tempo. Alright, I'll try tempo for you. Try uh, breaking and running with, uh, with the brake cube. Alrighty. Um, for 10 ball Chuck, I haven't played 10 ball since our little fun match. Um, wow, sort of here right there. Uh, yeah, Chuck. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you mean by um, well, break. You want me to craft it? Uh, if you're talking about the one in the middle of the table, you thought. Well, you said yesterday, I believe. Is your ten ball? You don't break from the side. I think you said. Well, with the 10-ball, like that, when I changed playing with you and uh, you and Darren there, yeah, I just, middle, maybe maybe a ball to the right of it, hit it straight on. No, you can't see, oh, it's the camera's kind of not good on this laptop. Um, I got the uh, Dana's favorite purple, 5-ball, 6-ball, 7, 10, 4, 3, 8, 9, 2. I just threw them in whatever order. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I don't know. I just name it maybe maybe just past the first diamond for for depth, and then just off to the side, really. Um, see what happens. See what happens. This is how they get hit into the standard diamond. Yeah, you gotta move, honey. I let the uh, the cue ball loose a bit. Um, it is making its way back to the middle of the table. Let's not see too bad. I'll just try it with that. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll leave it. I'll uh, see what I can do. Give me a tough hit, but I'll try it. I'll give it a go. Just send the ones down for now. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that going here. All right, we'll try a bang shot. This one. Oh, look at that. I'm one for two. All 
don't know if I haven't said it yet, but it's uh, peaceful when you're not uh, stressing out in a tournament. Then again, I missed the first shot, but we pretend that didn't happen to you. So. Oh, as I'm talking and missing, he's a straight shot. I didn't move the cue ball. Keep the cue ball in the middle. What are you talking about? What did you mean, uh, Dana? You did. I didn't move the cue ball. I played the one as it light, and then I. Um, even missing, I kept the ball, I thought. Oh. oh, well, maybe I'll end it with a quick three ball. I don't know. I said I wasn't planning on uh, doing this long here. Hold on first. I put the cue ball down, yeah. Hey, Todd. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just try a quick uh, three ball. I don't think uh, many people have done, done that. And, um, I'll hit it really hard to you for fun, but typically I would just super light on that one. Keep everything close. But I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, I'll use, uh, I don't know, can you guys see? I guess the one, two, three, you be able to see with that uh, camera, I guess. We can try it after, Dana. What do you mean? Put the cue ball down now. Move down. You don't like it here? I'm trying to understand what you mean. You should almost just phone me. Alright. I'm going to sort of that. Is going to go in. That would have made things really easy. Alrighty. Pretty, pretty tough shot here. I guess if I draw it a little bit, it should, it should miss that. Good. Oh, terrible. That's why we practice. Yeah, again, I didn't want to make this long, so, uh, yeah. you're running a daycare, yeah, you're funny, you come over maybe and uh, watch the kids, if you did, that's my dad, everyone, John, Hey, right, anyone watching, are we talking about hockey? I don't get cable, so I don't know. I'll do maybe one more if someone wants to see it, I don't think anyone's doing a live right now. 16-2. Did they uh, not show up and they just scored two on themselves, Josh? What happened here? Can we try one more nine? I don't know if anyone has a request, but try to focus. After this, I'm going to be practicing quite a bit. A couple of drills, I think. If anyone wants a fun match, maybe down later. Josh, if you're still around, Dana, Josh, Darren, anyone who's around. Play over the ball shot. Um, and from how far? Long and straight? Okay. How close to the rail do you want it?
second time. That worked for you? You want the seven move? It's uh, nearly two diamonds away. All oh, right, on. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, we'll give it a go. Thanks, Dana. All right, I'll do one nine, and then I'll uh, then I'll wrap it up. I gotta think of a bunch of questions now. Uh, one of them being, why did you make me do that shot? Normally I got music on when I'm down playing. I'm obviously not recording, but it's so quiet now that my one daughter ran upstairs. Any predictions from the score here? Obviously we're all hoping for an 11, but... Let's wait for one prediction at least to come in. Three, yeah. Thanks, Dana. Ten. Oh, man. That's tough. Six from Josh. I'm not even sure how that ten happened. It was kind of funny. But uh, who uh, who shot that ten? Was it Chuck? I gotta go for an 11, I guess. 7, 5, 1, 3, 6, 4, 9, 8. Yeah, I couldn't do that again. See, if it, if it hit, but it was sending it further, it would be way down here. Thank you. 
I actually corn hooked myself, so I can't even cut it into the side. Um, this could this could be the ten though, because I can hit the eight to slice the nine in. That would be something. That would be something. We'll see what happens here. Oh, it was, a, it, was, it was worth a shot. Pretty funny. Got lucky on the horn place there. All right. Well, I think uh, probably enough for me. 30 minutes. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting it to be that long, but I do appreciate everyone uh, jumping in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I should have hit a harder, maybe. That was funny. Yeah, I honestly got corner hooked. I couldn't even cut that eight to the side, so it worked like that. Worked well as it was lined up, but oh well, I gave it a go at least. Josh won the closest gas, yeah. Well, guys, thanks very much. Um, yeah, thanks for coming in on my first uh, first live myself. I don't seem to do as many of these. I like the recording and add that really bad music that everyone likes to listen to. So, um, but again, thanks so much, guys. I'll be. Uh, Chatting with Dana later at the practice room, join in for his ask me anything questions. I've already got my one question. So anyway, thanks again, guys. Yep. Jim, everyone, thanks for coming in. Jim, Darren, Josh, Dana, Todd, Chuck. Really hope I didn't miss anybody. My dad, I guess. Thank you. Uh, if I'm missing someone, I feel so bad. And I apologize. Okay, thanks again, guys. Have a good night. Talk soon. Bye-bye.